we are live at the Lagos International Trade Fair Tafa Balewa Square, Lagos. Now this is arguably the largest gathering of businesses, both large, medium and small scale. Now this trade fair should have had the international business owners featured here live on ground, but because of the COVID-19 restrictions and the border closure, the fair is a shadow of itself. So we're going to be asking business owners how they have been faring since the COVID-19 pandemic happened, well, as well as the recession. Business was so bad, no sales, cost of things has gone up. My own cost of material grew to 200% increase in production. And you can't do 200% increase in your cost, in your selling price. So we have to bear with it. During COVID-19, we had a very good business because the awareness for hygiene was reawakening the heart of Nigerians. But after COVID-19, the figure is nose diving. The lament that the electricity and petrol pump price hike dealt a heavier blow. We are living totally on diesel to run the factory. We have more than 17 lines of production in Atlanta and all are run on generator from morning to night. There have been debates about the fulfillment of the government's promise of a bailout. Yes, sometime in August we actually get from Nessa. Yeah, we do. After the COVID-19, we are yet to get another look. Pay this type, pay this type, two more taxes on the road for Nigerian producers. With many depending on them, the expectations have now turned into demands. If you encourage people to buy Nigerian products, it is good that more people will be employed. Before COVID, I export five countries. But since COVID, it's only one country I've exported just last month, USA. Other ones are just come because of the locked border. They should open the border for us. The conversation says it all. Doing business in Nigeria is no mean fit, yet these business owners are striving to ensure that their businesses stay afloat because the employment rates and the economic recovery and growth depends on them. It is left for the government to put in place business-friendly policies to change the trend. From Tafawa Square in Lagos, Mercy Frank, reporting for Silverbird News 24.